Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here to share a, um, a project that I was inspired to create on Pinterest. Um, now we used to have a collab called the Pinspiration um, Collaboration. Um, I think it kind of, you know, died off this year. Um, I have myself have been keeping up doing a project once a month because I'm just always inspired by things that I see on Pinterest and by doing this project once a month then it actually gets me you know actually creating some of those things that I'm saving. Um, I will have in the description down below a, a link to the pen that I was inspired by. Now it wasn't a tutorial all it was was a picture because it was actually um, a pair of earrings that was like someone's Etsy link but I just like the design of it and so I just used the beads and supplies that I had on hand. Now they used actual like gemstones, um, like chip beads I think it was, maybe just gemstones, in the um, image that I saw. I had these really cute and pretty uh, faceted um, little beads here, glass beads that have all sorts of pretty colors. They look very prismatic with the purples and greens and golds and like yellow. That's why I went with the gold findings. Um, now the basic um, design of this, you just load up your beads onto a piece of a little bit heavier gauge wire. Um, let me see, what kind of wire did I use? This is from Hobby Lobby. It's just a craft wire. Um, this is, if it will focus here, 20 gauge. It's just 20 gauge gold wire. I just took out, you know, just a string, a piece of about maybe three inches long because I wasn't really sure how long, how much I would need. Um, and you just uh, feed the beads onto, well, you start out making a loop. Like you see here, um, the very end just has this little loop. Just make the little loop, um, feed your beads on and then do the loop at the other end and you want to face them so that they kind of um well that you can put the jump ring through each of the loops and then you just attach the ear wire onto the jump ring and it turned out to be really really adorable i love the, how these turned out um i had these little stardust i think is what they're called i don't know where i put the package um here they are it is called well, the silver ones I know are called like stardust um, spacers. These are gold and they have a little bit of texture. They're sort of um, rough feeling and they're just the little gold spacers. And so that's what I went with. And then the little gold um, lever back earrings. So that is the earring. Super easy, super cute, and they're very lightweight. And I put together the, this whole pair from start to finish in probably like 10 minutes. That's how quick and easy they were. Um, but again, I will have the picture, well, the link to the picture um, down in the description. And you can see what I was inspired by. And these the, don't look anything at all like those, like my inspiration picture, other than the fact that it's the similar I mean it's I followed the design like you know putting the wire and on the jump ring and and so forth but the beads are not anything similar to what was used in the um, inspiration piece but I just thought that was a real cute little pair of earrings um, so thank you so much everyone for stopping by and checking out my project share and I will talk to you on the next video take care